Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For all of you who are new here, I'm Tanya. I came to Canada as an international student and now I'm working over here full time. I know a lot of you are planning to move to Canada and today we are going to be talking about one main question which is how do you carry funds from your home country to Canada? So Canada is an expensive country and you have to survive here for money. If you have money, then what can you do? Yes, eventually you will get a job and you will start earning. But till that time, for a few weeks or for a few months, you do need some funds with you from back home which you can survive here, you can get accommodation, you can get groceries. And this is even for students who make a GIC account. Till the time your GIC gets activated and even after it is activated, it is good to have some extra funds with you for emergency and just for survival over here. So how do you get these funds from your home country to Canada? There are a few ways to do that and we'll be discussing those in this video today. So let's dive in. So the first one is pretty straightforward, carry cash. So you can get your Indian rupees or money from your home country exchanged in your country itself to Canadian dollars. So basically you get that converted and you carry that with you to Canada. So I would recommend that whatever way you use, you should have at least some cash with you. For your basic initial expenses, like the airport, the accommodation, the cab, a little bit of cash is very important. It's also very easy to get this money exchanged and there are no formalities, no paperwork. So it's easy. Just one problem is that as much as you carry cash, it's more money to handle. It's not like a card in which you have money. You have $50 or $100 of money for many notes. So it's a little risky to carry a lot of cash with you. So if you feel safe enough, you can carry it. Also, if you are carrying anything about 10,000 Canadian dollars, then you do have to declare it at the airport. So make sure you do all of these things. But otherwise, a little bit of cash, maybe like 100-200, you have to keep it very important. One thing to be careful is that a lot of times companies overcharge you for the exchange rate. So, you can know the exchange rate in 2-3 places and then get your cash exchanged at the most competitive rate. And this rate fluctuates every day, so make sure that you don't overcharge yourself. Another thing to be careful is that a lot of times companies overcharge you for the exchange rate. So, you can know the exchange rate in 2-3 places and then get your cash exchanged at the most competitive rate. And this rate fluctuates every day, so make sure that you don't overcharge yourself. So, stay aware about that. Number two is forex cards. So this is a little easier to carry and you don't have any bills or notes with you. It's only a card that you can keep money in which you can keep. Also, it is slightly cheaper to cash and mostly forex cards, the exchange rate is more cheap compared to cash. But the only problem here is that when you have forex card, you can never transfer it to your Canadian account. If you have cash, you can always deposit it into your account and it stays in your account. But forex, you have to swipe your forex card every time to be able to use that money. Also, although forex card has a cheaper exchange rate compared to cash, but a lot of forex cards have a charge for every swipe that we do. And for every transaction, you have to pay a certain amount of fee. So one thing to be really careful about is कि आप make sure कीजिए कि आप जो भी forex card लोगे उसमें कोई ऐसे hidden fee ना हो so सारे terms and conditions पढ़िए और ask that advisor for details about this card because ऐसा ना हो कि आपको initially लगे ये सस्ता है but every time you're making a transaction you have to pay like three dollars for it so be careful on that a forex card recommendation that I would give is X travel money I'll talk about that more later in the video but this is a great company which gives you forex cards at very competitive rates. So the third one is wire transfer. Wire transfer is basically when you open a Canadian bank account and you transfer the funds from that account directly. Transfer karte ho. So this can be done from India itself. It usually takes 5 to 10 business days but you can do it from India and as soon as you land in Canada and as soon as you activate your Canadian bank account, you can access those funds right away. So you don't have to pay any cash or anything and you don't have to pay any cash or anything and you don't have to pay any cash or anything and you don't have to pay any cash or anything. So you don't have to pay any cash or anything, you don't have to pay any cash or anything, you don't have to pay any forex card, you can just start using your account right away. And for students who pay their college admission fees, 
एंड स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव पेड दियर जी आई सी आपने ये पैसे भी वायर ट्रांसफर से ही भरे होंगे मोस्टली जो बड़े अमाउंट के ट्रांजेक्शन होते हैं दे हैपन थ्रू वायर ट्रांसफर्स अगेन वायर ट्रांसफर में काफ़ी सर्विस चार्ज होता है सो मेक श्योर कि आप जिस भी कंपनी से करवा रहे हो दे आर रिलायबल एंड दे आर गिविंग यूर कॉम्पिटेटिव रेट टू मेक दिस चॉइस इजियर आई हैव एन ऑप्शन फॉर यू एक्स ट्रैवल मनी एक्स ट्रैवल मनी इज इंडिया लार्जेस्ट फॉर एक्स मार्केट प्लेस ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट दे आर कम्प्लीटली ऑन लाइन दे ऑल्सो हैव अ डेडिकेटेड टीम दैट हेल्प स्टूडेंट सेट अप देयर जी आई सी अकाउंट सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ जी आई सी अकाउंट द करेंट एक्सचेंज रेट इज वन कनेडियन डॉलर इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी नाइन इंडियन रुपीज बट बैंक एंड मनी चेंजर्स चार्ज वन टू टू रुपीज एक्स्ट्रा ऑन ईच डॉलर दैट यू वॉन्ट टू गेट एक्सचेंज सो बेसिकली इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू ट्रांसफर योर जी आई सी फंड योर जी आई सी इज टेन थाउजेंड कनेडियन डॉलर एंड वन टू टू रुपीज ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट फॉर ईच डॉलर वुड मीन यू आर पेइंग टेन थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इंडियन रुपीज एक्स्ट्रा विच मीन्स टू ट्रांसफर टेन थाउजेंड कनेडियन डॉलर यू आर पेइंग टेन थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड टू द बैंक नाउ इफ यू यूज एक्स्ट्रा विल मनी सर्विसेज देन यू स्पेंड एनी वेयर बिटवीन फोर थाउजेंड टू फाइव थाउजेंड इंडियन रुपीज इन स्टेड दैट मीन्स यूर सेविंग फाइव टू टेन थाउजेंड इंडियन रुपीज राइट अवे they also have a promo going on where they provide 500 indian rupees flat off on gic accounts they also provide forex cards at very reasonable rates and they provide university payment services the best part is that all these services are at no additional cost and they have some great reviews on google so you should definitely check them out the link is going to be in my bio so moving back to wire transfers this is a great option for gic payment for your college fees even for paying for your accommodation beforehand and if you want to carry some big amount of money then the best would be to do a wire transfer number 4 and the last one is bankers check So banker's check is basically like a demand draft. You create it from your home country, take it to Canada, present it to the bank and you can access your funds. This is a great way to carry a huge amount of money and also they have excellent exchange rates so you could also save money on that. The only drawback is that it usually takes 5 to 10 working days once you land to Canada and once you submit your banker's check to be able to access those funds. सो एटलीस्ट वन टू टू वीक्स का आपको फिर भी अरेंजमेंट करना पड़ेगा टिल यू विल बी एबल टू यूज दीज फंड सो इन दैट अगेन कैश कम्स इन टू पिक्चर सो ओवरऑल थोड़ा सा कैश कैरी कीजिए एंड देन यू कैन मेक अप योर माइंड विद ऑल ऑफ दीज ऑप्शन बट गाइज इट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव सम एक्स्ट्रा मनी विथ यू अलॉन्ग विथ योर जी आई सी एंड अलॉन्ग विथ दैट होप कि आप पार्ट टाइम जॉब करोगे येस यू विल इवेंचुअली and you can save that money aap chahe wo paise fir se apne home country bhijwa do after 6 months when you're well settled here but still you don't want to come to a position where you're in canada and you don't have enough funds for your survival so thode se extra paise to carry kar hi lo maybe it is just 300 400 canadian dollars but you should have some money with you so this was it for today's video guys if you found it informational don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you have any more questions related to this then drop them down in the comment section and i will see you guys again soon till then bye